Well, hey, Taurus. Thank you guys so much for coming back to my channel. If you guys are new, hello, I am Yasmeen. If you have not already, please like and subscribe. Okay. <laughs> I was just about to say, Taurus, that I'm not going to shuffle the, the way I normally do just because I don't want to bend these cards. And um, I'm going to either let them jump or I'll pull. And that one jumped, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and get that one and then let's get some more. This is for Taurus. Taurus. Mm. Yeah, Taurus, you guys have definitely been needing to be strong. I can tell you that. You guys have needed to be strong, especially dealing with the situation that you guys have been dealing with. All right, so you guys would have been dealing with um, toxic behaviors, very toxic, toxic people or person, okay, is what I am seeing. Um, and now you guys are all about finding your light, moving forward, finding your peace. Okay. All right. Let's get these first. Strength card was the first one that turned over. This is what I was saying. This is you, you guys just regaining your strength back from all the nonsense that you dealt with in the past. Look at what's at the bottom of the deck. Five of Wands. Arguments you know, problems, um, you know, maybe you and your person wasn't on the same page. They put you in connections with other people. It was a mess. And so here with the strength card, it's like you need to regain your strength and your personal power. Okay. Here with the emperor control, you guys were, you guys always have the emperor in your reading. You, you always, no matter what, no matter if I shuffle or not, <laughs> I always end up pick, picking the right card to come out. Um, or the card's supposed to come out. I'll say it like that. But here with the Emperor, it is very much so boss-like energy. Someone that you're dealing with is very egotistical. They think they know everything. They they feel like they should have whatever they want. Things They play mind games. Yeah. Okay. That's why I said that devil-like energy. Seven of Swords. Very sneaky. Wanting, you know, getting trying to get away with things. You know, um, some of you guys could be married and your person is doing this. Running out on you, dealing with other women, dealing with other men. Mm -hmm. Two of Wands. Now there's a now there's an opportunity for you to make a decision here. Okay, it doesn't matter if you were in the marriage or not. Two of Wands talk about exploring the world now, looking forward. Okay, planning. There's other things that you could be wanting to explore, like a new person. Because before you may have been at a crossroad. Maybe you didn't know what to do. Maybe you felt like this person will come back. This is letting me know now that you guys are looking forward. You know, this could be conflict in your own mind, but you don't want to deal with that same energy you've been dealing with. And, um, you know, it all depends, you know, on what you choose to do with your life. But I really do see that you guys are trying to move away from conflict and nonsense and tricky, you know, sneaky behavior. So let's go ahead. Let's get more for Taurus. Here with the Queen of Cups. Exactly. Exactly. You guys have love in your heart. You do. Five of Pentacles. But you are missing your person. They're missing you. Some of you guys are just missing your per the person that's supposed to be here for you. That's supposed to be there for you. That's what's missing in your world. Okay. You want a family. You want love. You have all this love in your heart to give. Look at this. There you go, Taurus. There's an emperor and an emperor. emperor. Lord have mercy. Divine counterparties in your reading. It happens all the time. I do see marriage energy here. Speak. This woman, this is a bride looking out the window. This doesn't have to be because you guys are in a marriage. It could be, but I also feel like this is something that you guys have been wanting this is what's this is what's missing out of your life and in your heart you want your person and this really is two people who are very much alike okay let's get the last one for Taurus and we're going to clarify what this is all about but that queen of cups talks about feeling very overwhelmed sad you know crying but that's okay you got love to give and that's okay you got that cup and someone is going to give you theirs 
Okay, we're just gonna look at the positive of it. Success. It was too many that turned over. There we go. Ten of Cups. I was waiting. I was like, listen, no, I need the card to pop out because I know when the card pop out, Spirit did it. And at the end of the reading was the Ten of Cups. I knew it. You're gonna have what you want here. You really are. The magician. You guys are gonna be feeling good, looking good. I feel like this is a very like wealthy, very a lot of money, a lot of class kind of energy that I have here. You guys are going to be, you know, um, I think Gemini, I think Gemini had something like that. Some of you guys have Gemini in your chart, maybe, or dealing with a Gemini. But I see a lot of like, like rich things, okay? But you're going to be very happy here. And it could be with a new person. Your new person could be the emperor. I'm telling you what you've dealt with, but you're that emperor and this empress together. This could be your new person. Let's go ahead. Let's get the strength card. I love it. Okay. Yes, ma'am. You guys are standing on to what you believe. Literally, you're, this is your belief. This is what you believe in and you're not budging. You're holding your ground here with the seven of wands. No matter how much you love that person, this is what you're doing. You want commitment. You want a real relationship and a real connection. I see someone coming in and giving it to you, to be honest, here with the Six of Pentacles. I really do. Remember I was telling you before with the Two of Wands? Maybe your person couldn't decide what they want to do, but they have now. And this is someone new, too. Like I feel like this... this uh, to a source talks about opening up your eyes be flexible open up your eyes and don't be in denial see see that there's other people out there for you that's willing to be reciprocal of your love okay let's get the seven of swords okay you can't be dealing with the sneaky energy i think that you guys too have may, may have been running away from the truth though Oh, yeah. See, before, the truth of the matter is a lot of you guys were inside of a relationship, whether it was a marriage or not. And, yeah, he, this person this person was running around on you with other people. And a lot of you guys are moving on. See that two of wands? Mm-hmm. That's right. Or you guys were looking, eyeing other people when you know your person was eyeing somebody else. And you're like, should I leave them? It could be that too. But whatever it is, you guys are moving on here. That's what I'm saying. Two of Wands is that you're looking elsewhere. You're looking elsewhere. Two of Wands. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's right. You, you've made up your mind. You're, you're gone. You, you're not playing these games. There's a queen of cups again. You're, you've, this has been too emotional, too much of an emotional experience for you to be dealing with some nonsense. This is what I was saying at the beginning of the reading. Dealing with, the strength card came out again. Exactly, dealing with nonsense. You need to run away, just like that knight of swords that popped out by accident. You need to run away. And I feel like you've made your decision to choose you. Queen of cups. Your emotions have been all over the place. Emotion roller coaster to the max. Yeah, because your person keeping secrets and a dog, they're going to try to come back on up in here. And a lot of you guys have love for this person. You do. You want them to change. You're hoping that they'll change. You hope that magically they'll be better. But they have to show that to you. They have to prove that to you. Here at the Five of Pentacles, do they miss you? Let's see. They could. It's right up under the emperor. They could miss you. Yeah, I think you guys miss each other. I feel like what's missing is your divine counterpart, whoever that is. And I feel like you're going to get clarity about this very soon, whether it's you cutting someone off. Um, you know, you could be talking to your person. They let you know what this is really about. Or this could be someone new. I'm just telling you, Taurus. I don't really think that you're losing either way. I think this is a win-win situation for you. The empress... I don't know why this came out, but you this is what you've been waiting for. Oh, uh, you guys are walking away from this. You're walking away. You're not fulfilled. And the truth be told, a lot of you guys were willing to give them everything. And now you're off and going on. See, this is walking away in sadness. And you're going to find the real thing out here. Okay, because this is not it. Ten of Cups. 
But your happiness is here at the end of the reading. Ten of Cups. <laughs> it's here in the reading. Ten of Cups. Celebration. That's right. Victory energy here. Listen. Four of Wands. Eight of Wands. And the Knight of Sword. And I also have a Magician card that came out twice. Some of you guys are dealing with a Gemini or a Virgo. But to me, this is definitely more so talking about it's time. I really do believe that it's just time for the stuff to happen for you. Um, you guys are going to be talking to someone new. You guys are going to be approaching um, the person who's going to appreciate your value and, and show you, which is what I'm saying. I feel like you're coming into a soul connection and you're leaving the, the garbage behind. I see leaving, leaving the people behind that do not recognize your worth, okay? So this is what I have for you, Taurus. Thank you guys so much for coming back to my channel. Again, if you guys are new, please like and subscribe. Taurus, I love you. I will see you guys back here again later. Bye, guys.